Oh my God, I love my new crystal. Okay, all right. I'll figure out what to do with it later. It'll come to me. So, how do I use this again? Okay, I guess I'll just put it in my bra or something. Girl, so I went to the crystal shop today and I ended up walking out with a crystal. Yeah, it was cool, it was a dope experience. So now I have this new moonstone and it's, it's pretty. So, do you have any idea what I'm supposed to do with it? Like, like how does it work? No, like what do I do really? How do I use it? What's up my spiritual mommies? It's your esoteric Essa, AKA your esoteric homegirl Jasmine. Have you ever purchased a crystal and you just fell in love with it but you really had no idea what to do with it? How many of us have walked out purchasing a crystal and then we don't really know what to do with it. I've been there before. Yeah, this video is going to show you exactly how you can utilize those crystal babies you have and alleviate any stress that you may have with regards to working with your crystals. Enjoy. Okay, so I have a variation of crystals here that I just wanted to highlight to let you know that crystals can come in all shapes, forms, and varieties. Most typically common, what you'll find is pocket stones, which are little stones such as this beautiful moonstone here. Now, size and dimension, in my humble opinion, do not matter. Some will say the bigger the crystal, the more energy. I think that's truthful when we get to large, large quantities of geodes and crystals. But truthfully speaking, every crystal in any size has the same potential to work with you energetically, okay? So let's say you bought a crystal and you have no idea how to utilize it. This is where I think many of us get lost in our crystal healing journey. We buy it, we admire it, and we let it sit on the shelf for weeks, sometimes months, and sometimes years. And then we don't even get to working and utilizing our beautiful new crystal. So I'm going to go over the different methods that you can utilize to work with your crystal stone babies and start tapping into their potential. You and that crystal stone have connected for a reason because y'all were vibing energetically and the stone picked you and you picked the stone for a reason. So great ways to get in tune with tapping into working with your crystals are the following. Meditating. Yes, literally meditating with your crystal baby, placing it in front of you, placing it on any of your chakras, but researching which chakra the stone works with is in my humble opinion, probably the best route to go. So for example, I have a rose quartz. Rose quartz is most commonly known for working with the heart chakra. So you can place a pocket stone variation of rose quartz on your heart chakra while laying down meditating or just in front of you or near you while you do any sort of meditative practices with the intent of working on your heart chakra. And the heart chakra is tapping into self-love and forgiveness, etc. You can research that later. So part of meditating with crystals is going in with an intent of working on what that crystal can assist you with stabilizing energetically. This is the beauty of them because they are conscious beings. They are literally conscious energetic beings. They are just as real as my tree behind me. They are just as real as the rocks outside and the butterflies flying. They are just as real as you and me. They are conscious, living, energetic, vibrating beings that allow us to tap in. So, the next thing you can do is start utilizing appropriate stones while you're sleeping. I love to place stones under my pillow and I love to carry them with me throughout my day so they can assist me with keeping my vibe right. 
<laughs> so what I mean is you can literally carry them in your pocket, you can put them in your bra, you can place them on a necklace and wear them. Crystal stones do a great job at picking up any excess energy that we may not need. This is why it's important to treat them with love and respect and to cleanse your crystals every so often, okay? Because they do pick up on all that excess energy. So you can meditate, you can wear them, you can put them in a room or in a pillow wherever you're spending most of your time. Some of the greatest ways to work with your crystals are literally just making sure you have the time to set an intention with them. Intention setting is the most profound way to start tapping into crystal stones and working with them. So the next time you buy a stone, instead of leaving it on the shelf and maybe ignoring your crystal baby for months, take some time to research what that stone is and what you gravitated it for, what means you gravitated for, and you'll, you'll discover that that stone picked you for a particular reason that will help you and assist you in whatever stage of your life. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, you can hit me up, drop a comment, or you can also check out other resources such as Hibiscus Moon who offers a lot of great crystal knowledge. Thanks for tuning in. This is your Esoteric Essa, AKA your Esoteric Homegirl Jasmine, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. Deuces.